So in the last video, we saw what is this 10 days Vipassana bootcamp is like. And now let's take a look at what exactly we practice there. Yeah. So in that 10 days bootcamp, first three days we practice Anapana, which is a practice to cultivate your stable and focused attention. And then for the next seven days, we use that stable and focused attention to cultivate our own wisdom and insights. Yeah. Uh, so in this video, let's take a look at this Anapana practice first. What it is, how does it work, what are the benefits and all that. So almost seven years back, um, I had my first experience with meditation. It wasn't the Vipassana meditation bootcamp, but something similar. And the teacher were, was very experienced and uh, his instructions were very clear. So he said, uh, for the next 24 minutes, make sure you have a singular intention that you want to stay focused on your breath, right? Take a small area. The small area is below the nostril, above the upper lips. Your job, your entire job is to stay focused on that area, right? Now, we know that you have all the problems in the world. You have your problems with your work. You want to, you know, your problems with your relationship, your health, your family, whatever, whatever. For now, for, but for next 25 minutes, make a strong intention that all you want to do is stay focused on your breath, right? And then after that, you can solve all your problems, right? <laughs> so fairly straightforward and, you know, clear instructions that this is what you need to do. And uh, sounds very simple and easy to do, right? And that was nothing less than enlightenment for me when I saw, when I tried to do that for the next 25 minutes. Uh, what I found was is like, I could not do it for like more than 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, my mind just keep moving here and there, here and there. And um, it was kind of amazing to realize that how is the current situation inside us, right? We never pay attention, but like what is the level of, you know, intentional focus we have, right? If I wanted to stay focused on one point that I decided I wanted to have focus on, I could not stay focused for, you know, like one or two percent of the time, yeah? So this was very clear that it is not a very healthy state of being and something has to be done, right? This is clearly not workable uh, state of being. So I highly recommend if you have never done any meditation, just take 20 minutes off and just put all your worries and all your hopes, desires, whatever, whatever, you will solve them later. But for 20 minutes, just give it a shot. Just see what is the state of your mind is, right? What is the condition of your mind is currently, yeah? So just take some, you know, quiet place, maybe if you can find in the home and try to stay focused on one point uh, above the lips, uh, above the lips, below the nostril, choose this point and just try to stay focused on this for next 20 minutes, 25 minutes and just see what is the state of mind you have, uh, what is your internal state of being. And that was very important realization because then you will have to, you know, see whether you want to live with this thing or you want to, you know, do something about it. So the Anapana practice is fundamentally for this. Yeah, when they, uh, these meditators realize like, you know, ultimately what you want to have is wisdom and insight, but you cannot do it directly. First, you need to cultivate your stable mind and focus. Yeah, and then only you can do something more. Then only you can, you know, investigate nature of truth, investigate nature of reality and all that things. So first, they prescribe first, the, even Buddha prescribed this practice, practice Anapana first. Okay, so what is this Anapana practice? So in this practice or any other practice where you want to, you know, cultivate any stable attention or focus is that you need some object and you stay focused on that object. You practice focusing on that object for a long period of time. It's just the practice like any other practice, right? Just like you like, maybe you learn to play guitar or some other kind of musical instrument. You just practice, you practice, you practice, you practice. This is a clearly practice. It's not a theory of any kind, right? It's a clear practice. You just need to have, you need to have enough understanding to understand why you are doing it, but then it's a practice. It's not some kind of understanding. Okay, so what exactly is the practice here? So the practice is we have an object. Now the object could be different for the different people. Some people try to practice it using mantra. Some people try to practice it using, uh, maybe just looking at a pebble for a long period of time and all that thing. Here in the Vipassana, the object is your breath. And Buddha also described, prescribed the same object. He, he said you, you should start practicing, you know, the breath awareness and that will, you know, cultivate your stable and focused attention there. Now, the question is, what is the, why breath? Why, what is the importance of breath, right? Why we should have that as an object? 
many many reasons few of the reason that strikes with me are first of all the breath is always in the present moment yeah so when you are learning to stay present when you're learning to you know stay focus on breath you are also learning to stay present in the moment yeah that's like a nice side effect of uh, your practice that you are being effortlessly effortlessly present in the moment so that could be the one benefit then breath is also very neutral object you don't have any attachment or aversion toward breath so you just learn to stay focused on a neutral object and then another important one is uh, it's a very dynamic object you know it's it's also said that breath is a grosser form of the mind so whenever your mind is very agitated when you are not feeling good your breath is going to become gross your breath is going going to become faster right so you have a grosser object to work with on the other hand when you are stable when you are calm and composed your breath is going to become subtle in that case you need even sharper focus to you know stay present with the breath so it's amazing that it changes the object changes according to your state of mind and it gives you a perfect object to work on that state of mind there are many other reasons but uh, i think these should be enough to you know uh, convince that breath could breath is one of the best object to start practicing uh, anapana meditation or meditation where you cultivate your focus attention focus and stable attention okay so that is about like what we what object we choose to practice our um, meditation now in terms of practice all you do is you just you know stay focused on the breath and then your attention will go away somewhere else then you come back and stay focused on the breath and then your attention will go somewhere else and you just keep practicing coming back the important thing to understand here is that um, um it's not a forceful practice it's not like you you know you are like uh, putting a lot of will into it that i want to you know stay focused on the breath it's not like this it's more like a relaxation practice where you know uh, you stay focused on the breath but then you realize your mind is wandered away but then you just relax back and then you come back right it's not like you're forcing yourself coming back to the breath you just keep relaxing and coming back to the breath right many of my friends have told me that i cannot do the meditation meditation is not for me uh, it's almost like a assumption behind it that when you are going to do this practice uh, you somehow be able to do it effortlessly right which is not true right you have to have your expectation right in the place uh, that this whole point in the meditation there is a saying the only bad meditation practice is the one that you didn't do right your mind is going to be turbulent your mind is going to go through different states and your job is to keep coming back to the breath right do not make do not have expectation like within a day or within a week or within a month you will have such a stable and focused attention right or when you start focusing on your breath all the sudden you you are like um, uh, stay focused on the breath for a long period of time this is the actual conditioning and this is why we are practicing if we can stay focused on the breath then what's the point of practicing right so this is the whole point of the practice yeah and if you cannot stay focused on the breath and if you feel you you are not you cannot do the meditation then you are the person who needs to do it the most right this is actually the practice that will take you from that state where you cannot stay focused on a object to the state where you can stay focused on the object for some period of time right so this is exactly the practice we need to understand this there is no i don't know from where this notion comes that i cannot do the meditation right it is same for everybody everybody struggles in the beginning you practice it and then you become better in it okay so that's uh, that's the practice now in terms of benefits it has uh, amazing benefits first of all if you have no interest in any kind of you know spirituality or any kind of deeper truth and all that this uh, practice will increase the quality of your life in general yeah because you know this is the faculty we are working with our attention right so if you have a stable and focused attention no matter what you are doing in terms of your work in terms of your you know Uh, prioritizing what is important what is not important and being able to execute that uh, all of these things become more and more easy more and more doable right otherwise uh, you know it's so uh, it's like you are going to get condition from whatever is stimulus is coming from outside and then that will you know create an action and reaction action and reaction and just we just don't feel satisfied altogether right so this practice is amazing in terms of um, you know increasing our quality of life increasing our quality of attention and you just feel you are present in the moment you are enjoying the moment a little bit more and all that so it has a lot of benefits in our daily life 
and then uh, in terms of vipassana practice once we have some degree of a stable attention we don't want to have like a very you know uh, strong like we don't want to have such a practice that we you know we stay focused on our attention we stay focused on the object for very long period of time right if we can stay ultimately for even you know few seconds 5 10 seconds at a, at a stretch or if we can get to the point where we can stay for a minute that is like more than enough for practicing vipassana right and in terms of vipassana practice we use that attention to cultivate our own wisdom to cultivate our own insights that why exactly mind is so <laughs> turbulent why exactly this is so you know discomforting and all these things and then we find the root cause and we start taking out the root cause so the natural state of mind will start becoming you know uh, stable and focused by its nature right it's not like you need practice that after that anymore but we need to have this stability and focus in our attention to start practic- practicing you know the next level of um, you know the vipassana meditation and what is the vipassana meditation how do we practice it what are the benefits and all these things we take a look at those in the next videos